The horse is a domesticated ungulate mammal. It belongs to the taxonomic equine family and is one of only two extant subspecies of Equus ferris. The horse has evolved over the last 45 to 55 million years from a small polydactyl creature, the Eohippus, to the large single-toed animal that we have today. Humans began domesticating horses around 400 BC, and domestication is believed to have become widespread by 300 BC. Horses of the subspecies Cabalus are domesticated, although some domesticated populations live in the wild as feral horses. These wild populations are not true wild horses, as the term is used to describe horses that have never been domesticated. There is an extensive specialized vocabulary used to describe concepts related to horses, covering everything from anatomy to life stages, size, color, markings, breeds, movement, and behavior. Lifespan and stages of life Depending on the keeping and environment, the life expectancy of a modern domestic horse is between 25 and 30 years. In rare cases, some animals live up to 40 years, and sometimes longer. The oldest verifiable record was Old Billy, a 19th century horse that lived to be 62, died in 2007 at age 56. Regardless of the horse's or pony's actual date of birth, for most competition purposes a year is added to their age every January 1st of every year in the Northern Hemisphere and every August 1st in the Southern Hemisphere. An exception is endurance riding, where the minimum age to compete is based on the animal's actual calendar age. The following terminology is used to describe horses of different ages. Foal Horses of either sex are less than one year old. A nursing foal is sometimes called a suckling, while a foal that has been weaned is called a weaner. Most domesticated foals are weaned between five and seven months of age, although foals can be weaned at four months without any adverse physical effects. One year old. A horse of either sex between the ages of one and two years. Colt. Male horse under the age of four. A common terminological mistake is to refer to any young horse as a foal, when in fact the term only refers to young male horses. Filly. A female horse under the age of four. Mare. A female horse four years of age or older. Stallion. An uncastrated male horse four years of age or older. The term horse is sometimes used colloquially to refer specifically to a stallion. Gelding. Castrated male of any age. In horse racing, these definitions may differ, for example, in the British Isles, thoroughbred racing defines foals and fillies as less than five years of age. However, Australian thoroughbred racing defines foals and fillies as less than four years old. In English-speaking countries, a horse's height is often given in hands and inches, one hand equals 4 inches, 101.6 millimeters. The height is expressed as the number of full arms followed by a dot, then the number of extra inches, and ends with the abbreviation H or HH for hands raised high. Thus a horse described as 15.2 H has 15 arms plus 2 inches, for a total of 62 inches, 157.5 centimeters, in height. The size of horses depends on the breed, but also depends on nutrition. Horses for light riding are typically 14 to 16 hands, 56 to 64 inches, 142 to 163 centimeters, tall and can weigh 380 to 550 kilograms, 840 to 1,210 pounds. Larger riding horses typically start at around 15.2 hands, 62 inches, 
157 centimeters, and often reach 17 hands, 68 inches, 173 centimeters, at 500 to 600 kilograms, 1,100 to 1,320 pounds. Heavy or draft horses are usually at least 16 hands, 64 inches, 163 centimeters, tall and can be up to 18 hands, 72 inches, 183 centimeters, tall. They can weigh between 700 and 1,000 kilograms, 1,540 and 2,200 pounds. The largest horse in human history was probably a shire named Mammoth, born in 1848. His height was 21.2 m 1 quarter arm, 86.25 inches, 219 centimeters, tall and its peak weight is estimated at 1,524 kilograms, 3,360 pounds. The record holder for the smallest horse ever was Thumbelina, a fully mature miniature horse that suffered from dwarfism. She was 43 centimeters, 17 in, tall and weighed 26 kilograms, 57 pounds. A truly wild horse is a species or subspecies that has no ancestors that have ever been domesticated. Consequently, most wild horses today are actually feral horses, animals that have escaped or been released from domestic herds and the descendants of these animals. Only two wild subspecies, the Tarpan and the Prowalski's horse, survive in history, and only the latter survives today. The Prowalski's horse, named after the Russian explorer Nikolai Prowalski, is a rare Asian animal. It is also known as the Mongolian wild horse, the Mongols know it as Taki, while the Kyrgyz call it Kurtag. This subspecies was considered extinct in the wild between 1969 and 1992, while a small breeding population survives in zoos around the world. In 1992, it was restored to the wild through the efforts of numerous zoos. A small wild breeding population exists in Mongolia today. Zoos around the world still keep additional animals. The question of whether the Prowalski's horse was ever tamed was called into question in 2018 when DNA studies of horses found at Wutai culture sites identified captured animals with DNA markers of the Prowalski's horse ancestor. The study concluded that the Bwatai appear to have been an independent domestication attempt involving a wild population distinct from all other domesticated horses. However, whether all Prowalski's horses are descended from this domesticated population remains unresolved, as only one of the seven modern Prowalski's horses in the study had this ancestry. The Tarpan or European wild horse has been found in Europe and much of Asia. He survived until the historical era, but died out in 1909, when the last captive died in the Russian zoo. Thus, the genetic line was lost. Attempts have been made to recreate the tarpan, resulting in horses with a superficial physical resemblance, but nevertheless descended from domesticated ancestors, and not from true wild horses. Horse populations in isolated areas are occasionally assumed to be relict populations of wild horses, but are usually found to be wild or domesticated. For example, the Rewosh horse from Tibet has been proposed as such, but tests have shown no genetic differences from domesticated horses. Similarly, the Sereia of Portugal has been proposed as a direct descendant of the Tarpan based on shared characteristics, but genetic studies have shown that the Sereia is more closely related to other horse breeds, and that physical similarity is an unreliable measure of relatedness.
Thank you for watching.